Hello, trumpet players. Mr. Fitz here, and it's time for number 111, Go for Excellence. I'll play it for you, and then we'll talk about it. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, so hopefully you notice the dynamics in that, meaning the forte in the piano. So that's pretty important. But the thing about that is the dynamics are not as important as playing the correct rhythm and the correct pitches uh, because those have to be right first. So I always advise with working on something like this, be aware of the dynamics, but make it your priority first to get your rhythm, second to get your notes, and then once you can do that correctly with a steady beat, meaning you have to tap your foot, then you could add in things like dynamics and slurs and accents and staccatos and all that other kind of good stuff, all right? So pri first priority is rhythm. So let's say the first two measures together, all right? So here we go. One, and, and tap your foot. One, two, three, four. Ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, 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 ta, ta. And I'm going to do my foot cam. Got plenty of battery power today, so I don't have to hook a wire to this. Oops, sorry. There you go. Here we go. Ready? Tap your foot with me and say it. First two measures. One, two, three, four. Ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, 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 ta, ta. Notice there's no ti, ti, right? It's ti, 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 ti. So your foot always moves at the same speed. That's the concept of steady beat. So your foot is keeping the time. And the notes, if they're eighth notes, there's going to be two of them in each beat, a down and an up. Okay. Now, second step. Once you can do that, you got to do that first, then play it on one note. And I'm just going to play it on an F. Okay. One, two, three, four. <laughs> hopefully you heard my foot tapping. So you have to be able to tap your foot in exactly the same manner as when you set it. It has to be steady. Okay? Now the third step is to figure out what the notes are. Okay? And you need to be able to say it and do the fingerings. Say the names of the pitches and do the fingerings while at the same time keeping a steady beat with your foot. This takes a little bit of time. So if you don't know your names of your notes in this section or the fingerings, this is the first two measures, just pause the video. Alright, so here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four, F, F, G, A, A, B flat, C, A, B flat, G. All right, now that's a bit complicated. I'll be the first to admit it. All right, so you may not be able to get the foot tap right away. So maybe the first step might be just to say those notes like F, F, G, A. Sorry about all the noise, it's noisy upstairs today. A, B flat, C, A, B flat G. You know, just get, get to say the notes, but then you want to be able to do it to a steady beat. Because then the fourth step is to do it, you know, and actually play it. Okay, so you have to be able to know the notes and the fingerings and do it to a steady beat. So here goes with with the notes. Actually playing it. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Next, next uh, two measures, all right, are slightly different, but the same concept applies. So what you have to do is say the rhythm first, all right, and let's just do that. We'll, we'll do. Let's do the next two measures, and then I'll let you do the rest on your own. So here goes, one, two, three, four, ta 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 ta, ti 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 ta ta. And I'll give you the foot cam view again, and hopefully it won't drop the thing. One, two. Three, four, ta 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 ti 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 ta ta. Okay, all right. So again, now you're gonna play it on one note. Let's do it on a G. All right, one, two, three, four. Third step, as before, you're going to say the notes and push the buttons. By the way, between these steps, take your time. You know, you don't want to rush to the second step of playing it on one note if you can't say it. Okay? All right, third step, let's say the notes. And again, if you don't know them, pause. Okay? One, two, three, 
for G, 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 A, B flat, G, A, F. Okay, and again, that may take a little time. All right, let's play it. One, two, three, four. Now you notice I just kind of played that full out, right? But I'm noticing now, now the fifth step is to play it piano or soft, okay? One, two, three, four. All right, so that's the process, okay? And you keep going every two measures, you figure out the rhythm, you say it, you know, always tapping your foot, okay? That's the goal. You have to be able to tap a steady beat because otherwise you, you know, have nothing to measure it against. The uh, tapping of the foot is sort of like our measuring tool, like a yardstick or a meter stick or inches or whatever. In other words, we have to be able to measure our length of notes. And the way we do that is with our foot tapping. All right, have fun. Figure out 111. It's a good one.